guys have been asking for it, and we're finally gonna do it. Today we're gonna start Mass Effect. I've never played this game before. A lot of people have told me it's amazing. Um, I, yeah, I think this is the first time I've streamed like a shooting game? I think. I don't recall ever streaming a game that where we shot. Uh, except for Overwatch, but like not like a like not like a main series game at least but anyways guys we're here i am so excited to try this out because i've been recommending this game way too much and honestly i own two copies of it because i bought it on steam and then uh like shortly after i think like the month after or something like that uh, the playstation gave it away for free so it was really awkward So it's really interesting. But guys, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm very interested in this game. I know nothing about this game, actually. I know nothing about this game outside of the fact that um, Andromeda is bad. <laughs> um, that's all I know. That's all I know is that Andromeda is bad. And uh, that's about it. I know nothing else about this game. I don't know the story. I didn't even know it was a shooting game until like about like a couple minutes ago. So <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's give this a shot. I, I'm super excited because I, I love uh, actually like taking the feedback that y'all have about like games and stuff. So and, uh, and giving it a shot. So I'm super excited. All right. So we're going to start with one um, and we're going to see if we can kind of go through them all um, eventually. So maybe we'll do a rapid succession. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's do it. What's up, robot? What's up, King Llama? Guys, by the way, if you're watching live, you get cool stream rewards. Get your ass in here. <laughs> but if you're watching and not live, it's all good too. Do you love this game? I've I've heard a lot of good things about it. I have heard a lot of good things about it. I'm not like a big um I'm not a big shooting guy. So welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Um, John Shepard, James Shepard, what did he create in the first one? Uh, do we just go as John Shepard, or do we go? Do we go John Jane or make a new one? I'll, I'll let you, I'll let chat decide. Jane? I'll, I'll, I'll let Chet decide for me because I don't want to deal with this. Uh... <laughs> you want Lola to make a comeback? We do pick, we do play as Lola a lot. Man, Lola? Really? Oh, but do I have to make a last name? Please log in to access your profile. Oh, okay, so I can't actually change the last name. Got it. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Orphan born, raised on the streets of the great. Uh, I am. Um, Lola. Lola would be. 
would be Earthborn. That's how it always was. Like she was always an orphan. Confirm psychological profile. During your service, a mission. I mean, she did. She's gone through all of Dark Souls, so she definitely would be a war hero. Uh, get the job done. Um, she's a war hero. Confirm military specialization. What is this? What is all of this? Okay, soldiers. Okay, soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front line of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health and can specialize in use of all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear armor, and you can train to use heavy armor. Engineers, tech specialists, use holographic on tools. Uh, can only wear light armor. Seems kind of lame. Uh, this stuff looks cool, though. Adepts are bio biotic specialists. Through a pre implant, they can use bio powers to lift and throw objects, shield, swar, or disable or destroy enemies. Interesting. So, uh, combine combat and detect blades, specialize in killing and healing enemies in the water. So, this is a sniper, uh, essentially. Okay. The pistols are sniper rifles. Sentinels are combined by audic and tech abilities. Typically, use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. More efficient tech defense weapons. Uh, Vanguard biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to defend, especially. I mean, I'm gonna go Vanguard, right? I'm gonna go Vanguard. Confirm facial identification. Okay. We have to make her actually look like Mola real quick. Um, I don't really care too much about the face structure. Um, I, I love a little boy's fairy tale. Um, um, oh, that's weird. Yo, that's so weird. Being able to like look around like that. <laughs> All right, um, so that's that. God, she's weird. Oh, uh, cheekbones. really changed quite a few things. I'm gonna do this. Um, Alright, we're done with that. Jaw. Chin. Got it. Chin work. <laughs> you can make her have a duct tape, that's kind of funny. Interesting. Okay. 
So with that knows. Really, honestly, hair is like the big one. Uh, so we'll do. Cause she had, she had like a, kind of like this hair, didn't she? No, she had more like this hair. Yeah. It was very much. something like that. Profile reconstruction complete. Once you confirm uh, your current destiny, you will be unable to change the status of time. Identification confirmed. Uh, okay. So now, I know this channel is all based on difficulty, but we definitely won't do normal. don't know if I can do insanity so we're gonna do hardcore I think the like difficulty right below is I, I think that's fair right everybody like I know this channel is all about doing it on the hardest difficulty but I don't normally play shooting games and that's gonna take us forever how bad is the difficulty I'm locking it in. I'm locking it in. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. Oh, interesting. She proved herself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered a remains of an ancient Eastern civilization. In the things that follow, these mysterious artifacts are now stored in the world. They didn't travel to the greatest stars. This is with this incredible The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit.
Miss Green. Approach run has begun. What's up, Effects Haven? Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Okay. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, bro... Yeah, no, I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. Whoa, so I there's talk? more going on here than the captain is letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh... Great. You pissed the Captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Alright. This is interesting. Really, it's all... It's all spoken... Unless it's a text message. No, that's funny. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So. Told you, I just saw it. Smart pilot. Alrighty. always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, yeah. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Wait, so hold up. I, I need to know before I continue this game. Are my decisions like that I make like affect the game? Like, like can I like piss people off and stuff? Because I feel like just with like the decisions that it's giving me. I'm already kind of like feeling like, oh man, like I might piss a lot of people off. Like, I grew up on or it does it kind of not really matter? Because I know like a lot of games that give you like the like illusion of free will, but like the captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a specter. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Oh, so I can piss people off. Gotcha. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Okay. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. I kind of wish I leaned like her cheeks a little like closer in, but whatever. I think I can do better. All right. What's up, buddy? How are you? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, where's Captain Anderson, bro? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. 
I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Oh, so I can be like, good or evil? Is it kind of like, um, oh my god, what's the name of that game that's on Xbox that a lot of people loved, where you can be good or evil? Oh my god, I can't remember. Was it like Fate or something? No, it wasn't Fate. Was it Fate? But I remember like the things like you you could be like good or evil and like the more good you were more evil you were you unlocked some stuff or you got like some different options of things oh my god what was it was it fate it wasn't fate it's gonna come to me like midstream and I'm just gonna yell it out um... do you know something your people are still newcomers Shepard the galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Yeah, I realize that the I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh, so what are we picking up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, oh, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We can handle this on our own. I like this guy. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate it. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. Yeah. You showed not only courage, but also awesome. incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh. We support this guy, bro? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Alright. Just give the word, Captain. We got should it. be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 
Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Some running away conversation. Engaging stealth systems. I could totally see that. I could totally see that. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? <laughs> I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Got it. Ready and able, sir. Let's do it. The this. mission's yours now, Shepard. Okay. Good luck. I'm gonna die. We are so... approaching drop point two. Oh, what's up, Boa? How you doing? The long awaited playthrough? I know. It's been a long time. I know. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Oh, man. I'm gonna die so damn much in this game. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. This is, this is gonna be rough. I've been waiting for this one. Yeah, I, listen, what's up, Glitch, how you doing? I have, hold up, press, hold, I wanna switch weapons for your spot. Oh, wait, what? Oh. So this is me. This is this guy. Oh, he looks like a sniper. Okay. Do I have film grain on? Uh. No. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it's, it's a little faded for sure, but I mean, I don't think that's like, I didn't put anything on. It is a little grainy, I will say that for sure. But, if I, no, if I pause it, it looks fine. Yeah, when I pause it, it looks, I think it looks fine. I don't like how you put your gun away. Oh, is it like an option? Ah, there it is. Oh wait, hold on. See a difference. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really see a difference in the real life. Uh, listen, no, I'm not. But that was chat's decision. I'm a, I'm a hundred percent sure that I'm not sure. I can assure you that I'm not sure. Yeah! 
we're gonna probably lower it at some point. Like, cause I can tell you right now, I have not the slick. I am so bad at that leg. If we were on D, maybe. Here it but, comes! Uh, what the heck was that? Press R to aim at a target. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yeah, sorry, bud. Uh, I know he's dead and all, but... A lot of bodies. You love it, I'm but gonna I, check it out. I've never played it. I'll try to catch up with you. I, I own so. two copies of it. Never played it once, because I bought it on Steam, and then, like I said, I bought it on Steam, and then, uh, and then PlayStation gave it away for PlayStation Plus or you know, whatever. Shot the wall the first time. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? Yeah, you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I keep forgetting I don't have to I think they're Geth. She's just gonna talk. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. 
Yeah, let's go. Let's, Move up. Let's, uh, I don't even know what's going on. I just know I'm on this planet and I'm having to kill some things. Uh, press the options button to access the mission console. Squad screen lets you view the team's talents, moves, directional, select the talent or its rank. Press box, to s I mean not box, press X to spend a talent point to gain a rank in a selected talent and to gain levels to acquire a talent point to unlock higher points. So, for Lola. I'm going to go ahead Sure. Um Okay, so here's the I guess the squads Change your um, psycho here. Equipment. Oh, interesting. This is like Destiny then, where you have like equipment stuff. Upgrade here for the squad. Fan types. Selected item. Equips. Upgraded equipment item. Breaks down into armor channels. This is the zoom in button. This is like changing people's weapon focus. This is the whole R1. I guess they, these are their skills. Got it. Shoot. I, boxes, whatever I was throwing, I was throwing like grenades and stuff. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I mean, ga game's old. I, I'm, I'm keeping that into, you know, I'm, I am keeping that under consideration here. So this is just to draw my gun. So is there no run button? Like, am I, am I missing something here? Like... Pushing a low object used to crouch to the enemy. Put L3 to make the target more prone. A halo arrow gave him a gun. Got it. Okay. Buses are renewed. And this is where.
kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's kind of funny. I know it's old, but man, that, that was just like really like anti-climactic. <laughs> That was kind of funny. Oh, okay, so you can't really go. Okay. That's a weird way to run. Holy X. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, I got it. Oh, can you not turn the camera while you're running? Oh, you can't. Okay. Looks yeah, like they hit the place. camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. That is a little weird. You can't. So you can't run and turn the camera. You can only run straight. <laughs> oh God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? I have to reload. I don't have to reload. Okay. Self day blow up. I, I don't know why I find that so funny. So, can my, my people have health bars? Like, does that mean they can die? Some locks require encryption of electronics access. The Spellman has the required talent. You'll be able to unlock the object by using encryption and the spell. Repeat the sequence of button presses before the sound is silenced. Wait, what? So wait, did I? Oh wait, no, the, the first person was okay. Oh, okay, so you can revive them. I didn't even know what I had to do. Okay. Alright, got it. So, if I go here again. What do you mean insufficient? Oh, my job. Okay. Let's go. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. No way. No way. Yeah, I saw that and I, was, I realized it like way too late because I was just like looking. Oh no, he got shot. Off in the distance.
I need the sensitivity higher so I could three sixty no scope. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Uh, yeah. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Oh, that's great. See you later. <laughs> I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Uh, you know, you should really come clean about what you're... You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. And that's why you ran here. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Damn straight, give it to me. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Good luck. Not shoot them. Oh, it doesn't let me. Really? It doesn't let me shoot the. Oh, man. That's kind of lame. Alright. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's go. Commander. It's Nihilus. Damn. He got betrayed. Turian, you know him? He's a specter. He was with us in the room. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Uh, you gotta be more careful then. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Saren? Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. And then he got headshot. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Freaking coward. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Man, they didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. Are you serious? I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> I mean... If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. He's probably going to go take a nap. That's pretty much what I got out of that. Nap save lives. Remember, guys, 
Taking a nap on the job? You can see That's why we need to have more more now. Everyone just died. So, uh... <laughs> Damn! Jeez! I have to aim, yeah. I didn't know what... I don't even know what these skills do. Right here, last long burst of assault right from the side over here. Overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them from my damage. Got it, okay. Got it, okay, I get it now. Redeeming no healing already? Listen. That's a good point. Patching you up. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, that means we get the triangle.
Switch to Ashley. I'm going to give her this. And then I'm going to give her. Oh, it heals everyone? Catching you up. Oh, it does. This is gonna be really, uh, this is gonna be rough. Right. Guys, I, I think picking the hardest difficulty was probably not our best choice. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony, leave no evidence that we were here. charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down.
didn't see the guy to my left. Didn't see the guy to my left. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yeah. That's a bad time. This is gonna be a very interesting trip. What the heck? I'm, I'm hitting this arm. There we go. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. This is gonna be a very interesting. Listen, man. I like I said. I have to get used to shooting on a controller. Though. I should have just played. I I was gonna stream the one that we have on. That I have it on Steam, but I'm too much of a trophy. Wait, that doesn't bring him back? I mean, I definitely do. Um...
my god, disarm him! Was it on the minivan? Oh my god. Listen, man, I was panicking. I saw the. Catching you up. go to the beacon, um, there's a few things I probably want to check out. Uh, I don't know if there's like other crates or anything like that. It does have a mobile as well. Okay, so, we're proficient in what, shotguns and pistols? Something like that? I need everyone to be a sniper. I just need everyone to stay out of my way. Everyone just needs to stay the heck out of my way. Alright. I think everything else is kind of trash, so. Okay. Um. Stuff, good stuff. I knew there had to be something else down here. All right, and then we're gonna make our way up here. Yeah, you can't run for very long, but that's fair. I mean, we do have a lot of stuff on us. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
Hey, the sewer starts now. Look at me out here getting trophies. <laughs> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. This human must be eliminated. She didn't do anything, bro. She was just giving you the bad news. Get good. That's all I'm gonna say. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, I mean, I'm all right. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Damn, 15 hours. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Eh. Uh, you had no way to know what would happen. It's fine. I mean, he was a little careless. Actually, we him. don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Uh, I don't think I would even think about the hospital, to I appreciate honest. it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. That's true. That's actually very true. Uh, yeah, I, I was dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Um, yeah. I'll live. <laughs> I won't mind you, Shepard. Great input. Things look bad. <laughs> Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. Well, to hell with them. The Council can kiss my ass. Whoa! I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. The heck he hates um. humans for? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, I had a, I had a vision, by the way. <laughs> just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? Yeah. A vision of what? Um... I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Uh... 
Uh, there's something to report, bro. It was a vision. No one's gonna believe that. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I mean... Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. The council didn't give me a shit. But, like, remember the Jedi Council? You know what they did? Absolutely nothing. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. <laughs> Star Wars of guns. Look at that. Shh. And we were worried about the hardest difficulty. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to clip that and then it's just going to be a montage of all the deaths I've ever had. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yeah. Thanks, bud. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> so far, at least. I mean, I already died twice. I really can't be like... I can't be talking smack if I died, I feel like. I don't know if we can. Only the commanding officer. I thought it was the commanding officer. No, I'm just a commander. Right? Am I a commander? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Wow, well, size isn't everything. Why yeah. so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Like its main gun could rip through the barriers in any the ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel Control, <laughs> this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Yeah, it's true. The only sometimes we've got this size of it. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. 
We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I mean, he is dangerous. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. I mean... Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Bro, just let me go rogue. And that's why I hate politicians. Yep. Amen to that, sister. Uh, for your location, mark your map. Hey. This is the general. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Right. So tower. All right. Let's go to this tower here. Got it. Why does it like load me like base in here? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Uh, you blew it. No, you don't like that. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way, but he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Um, sure. Doubtful. I really, really doubt it. Um, but before we talk to the Council, that's where we're gonna end it for today. All right, y'all, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we're going to end it there. Tomorrow we'll pick this up exactly where we last left off. We're going to go ahead and talk to the council, see what's up. And, uh... And, dude, just let me kill Saren, man. Just let me kill Saren. Just let me go rogue. What, why do I need this? I, I, just let me go rogue, drop me off, and let me just shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, take care, be safe, make white shoes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It greatly helps out the channel. All that good stuff. And, um, but that's it for me, all guys. So catch y'all next time, 8 p.m., 8.15 Eastern time. All that good stuff. But catch y'all next time, guys. Thank you guys so much for being